On May 30th, citizens of Cyprus will head to the polls to elect the members of their legislature, the House of Representatives. Unlike most of the countries in Europe, Cyprus is actually a unitary presidential republic, meaning that the positions of head of state and head of government are both held by the same person, the president of Cyprus. The president is elected in a completely different election. Legislative elections, such as those taking place in May, are held two years before presidential elections and are seen as a chance for political parties to measure the strength of their support ahead of those presidential elections. The members of the House are elected by proportional representation in multi-member constituencies using a hair quota transferable vote system with a threshold of 3.6%. If a party or coalition's number of votes surpasses that hair quota, the total of votes being divided by the number of seats, then they'll acquire at least one seat. If a ballot has transferable votes, then they go to the list of their choosing and the process is repeated. However, if a party receives over 3.6% of the vote, then one of the remaining seats is immediately allocated to them. Formally, the House of Representatives is made up of 80 seats. However, Greek Cypriots elect 56 of those seats, 70% of Parliament, and Turkish Cypriots elect 24, the remaining 30%. Unfortunately, the Turkish Cypriot community has not participated in these elections since 1964, due to ongoing social-political divisions between the two ethnic groups. Therefore, the 24 Turkish Cypriot seats remain vacant while the community runs its own assembly in the unrecognized northern Cyprus. The House of Representatives has no direct say over reunification negotiations, but the stance of political parties on this issue deeply colors political discourse in the country. Demokratikos Sinagermos, the democratic rally in English, is the main center-right party as well as the current governing party in Cyprus. VC is a strong supporter of the market economy and is friendly to the business community, promoting itself as the party that dealt with the country's 2013 banking crisis and saw through the exit of the country from the bailout support program in 2016. Currently, the party is focusing on the government's effort to restart the economy through support packages to small and medium enterprises amounting to 300 million euros, also promising state guarantees for those businesses. In public speeches, VC officials speak highly of the green economy and digitization in line with European Union priorities. On social issues, VC tends to be moderate, leaning towards traditional values. In 2015, for example, the party supported allowing same-sex couples to enter into civil cohabitation this led to conflict within the party, and some of its MPs voted against it. Regarding migration, VC has supported the government's efforts to discourage irregular arrivals by increasing penalties for traffickers. On the ever-present and unique to Cyprus policy dimension regarding reunification, VC officially supports a federal solution and the recommencing of the process that collapsed in 2017. The party does maintain some relations with the main Turkish Cypriot political parties. During the campaign ahead of the May elections, it's aligned itself with the president's drive for a more decentralized federal model. Founded in 1976 by right-wing politician and later president Glavkos Kliridis, the party had a pro-Western orientation and was critical of President Archbishop Makarios III's policy of non-alignment. Despite winning 27.6% of the vote in the elections that year, it didn't gain any seats due to the fact that electoral law at the time awarded all seats to the winning electoral coalition. The subsequent elections in 1981, conducted under the current system, allowed VC to enter the House of Representatives for the first time with 12 seats. It was and remains composed of both nationalist and moderate political views, with critics pointing out that the party brought those involved in the 1974 coup d'etat under its wing. The party's current president is Averov Neofitu, a career politician with a background in economics. He's a longtime member of the party and once served as the vice president of the youth wing. In 1991, he was elected mayor of the Polis municipality and moved on to the House of Representatives in 1996, where he served until he was appointed Minister of Communications and Works in 1999. Since 2006, he's been a member of parliament. Ever since entering the European Parliament for the first time in 2004, VC has been a member of the EPP party, and their MEPs sit in the EPP parliamentary group. Anorthotiko Koma Ergazomenu Lau, the Progressive Party of Working People, is a left-wing party and the other main political force in Cyprus. 
Akel is officially a Marxist-Leninist Socialist Party, per its charter, but in practice it lies more in the moderate left of the spectrum. The party supports operating within a market economy, but focuses on defending workers' rights. The party has suggested increased protections for borrowers and mortgage holders, such as giving courts the option to postpone distress sales. However, it's struggled to shake off the negative marks left by its handling of the economy while in government, which is seen by many to have led to the 2013 crisis. On social issues, Akel tends to be the most progressive of the Greek Cypriot parties, advocating for an increase in social welfare spending and promoting measures such as ending the 12% pension cut from those who choose to retire at 63 instead of 65. Akel has also proposed that the government adjust its criteria for subsidizing laptops for students in light of the pandemic's effect on the economy. Regarding the Cyprus issue, Akel continues to support a federal settlement based on the convergence reached in 2017 and remains the party with the longest-running ties to the Turkish Cypriot community, particularly on the left. In 2019, it was the first party to elect a Turkish Cypriot to the European Parliament, who was also the first Turkish Cypriot to be elected in an election administered in the Republic of Cyprus since the 1960s. Akel is the oldest party on the island, founded in 1941 as a continuation of the older Communist Party of Cyprus, which was founded in 1926 and was eventually outlawed by the British colonial government. The party is led by its secretary general, Andros Kiprianou, a career politician with a background in civil engineering. Kiprianou first joined the party in 1974 and worked in various positions within the party since. In 1996, he was elected the municipal councillor of Strobolos until 2001, when he was first elected to the House of Representatives. In 2009, he was elected the general secretary of the party. Since first entering the European Parliament in 2004, Akel's MEPs sit in the GUE and GL group. The party is an observer, but not a member, of the party of the European left. Demokratiko Koma, the Democratic Party, is a centrist party which has been the third largest party in Cyprus for well over 30 years. It has come to be known as sort of a kingmaker in presidential elections and in forming majorities in the House of Representatives. On economic issues, the Ko tends to be centrist, tending towards market-friendly policies. The Ko was instrumental in helping Visi push through measures related to the country's European bailout program. During the current election campaign, it's also focused on the need to support small and medium enterprises through measures such as retrospective subsidies for rent and expenses. On social issues, the Co is generally also centrist, but has moved a bit closer to more progressive positions in recent years, especially on issues of gender and sexuality. In a recent proposal, the party pushed for a legally binding code of conduct for private and public sector employees which would combat sexual discrimination and harassment in the workplace. On the Cyprus issue, the Co is seen as a Greek Cypriot nationalist party, or as a hardliner in the context of intercommunal negotiations, officially supporting a federal solution, but in reality taking a more hardline position on the issue of Turkish Cypriot participation in the federal state. The party also takes a harder stance towards EU-Turkey relations. The party was founded in 1976 by Spiros Kiprianou and dominated politics in the 1980s as its leader held the presidency. It considers itself to be the party most closely aligned to the legacy of founding President Makarios III. In the 1981 elections, the first in which it ran without a coalition, it received 19.5% of the votes and came in third place. These days, the party is led by lawyer Nicolas Papadopoulos, the son of former president and former party leader Tassos Papadopoulos. He's held many positions inside the party while also practicing as a lawyer. He was first elected to the House of Representatives in 2006 and continues to serve to this day. In 2013, he became the party president and the presidential candidate for the 2018 election, finishing in third place. The Co isn't associated with a particular European political party but they've sat with the S&D group in the European Parliament since 2004. Kinima Social Democraton, the Movement for Social Democracy, is a minor center-left and social democratic party in Cyprus. On economic issues, EVEC is broadly center-left and follows principles of social democracy, with proposals such as the regulation of collective agreements and penalizing the practice of unpaid overtime. 
on social issues, Evek is centrist, with traditionalist positions in areas such as migration, but some more progressive approaches regarding environmental measures. On housing more specifically, the party suggested using empty buildings or hotels to temporarily house the homeless. On the Cyprus issue, Evek is the only mainstream Greek Cypriot party that rejects the federal model currently under discussion and is seen as nationalist in its outlook, as it seeks a joint national approach with Greece in several areas, including defense. Evek was founded in 1969 by Vasos Lisaridis, the personal physician of President Makarios, as a leftist anti imperialist movement as the United Democratic Union of the Center, which is where the initials Evek come from. Its original base of support came from Greek Cypriots opposed to the military junta in Greece and from Greek Cypriots involved in the 1964 intercommunal clashes. In the first election in 1970, it ranks fourth. Today, the party is led by dermatologist Marinos Sisopoulos. He was a founder of Edek's student wing, Agonas. He ran for the House of Representatives in 2001, but failed to be elected. He later entered parliament when Dodo Theodoru became Minister of Justice and Public Order. He lost his seat in 2011, but regained it in 2016. Evek first entered the European Parliament in 2009. Since then, the movement's become a full member of the Party of European Socialists and sits with the SND group. Shortly after the 2019 elections, Evek ousted its single MEP from the party, for internal reasons. Simachia Politon, Citizens' Alliance, is a centrist political group. In the 2021 election, it's running on a joint ticket with EVEC. The party was founded by Yorgos Lilikas in 2013 after gaining 25% in the first round of that year's presidential elections. The party entered parliament in 2016 with 6.01% of the vote, gaining three seats, but two of its MPs have since left the party. CIPOL is center-left on the economy and progressive on social issues. It was one of the first parties to suggest a minimum wage of 1,125 euros for all professions. On the Cyprus issue, the party is skeptical regarding the proposal that the country should reunify as a federation, and has suggested a referendum for the people to decide on an administrative model to be used after reunification. Citizens Alliance is led by former Foreign Minister Yorgos Lilikas, a leftist politician with a background in political science. He was first elected to parliament in 1996 with AKEL and was the foreign minister of the Tasos Papadopoulos government. During his tenure, the failed 2004 reunification referendum took place. The Citizens Alliance has no seats in the European Parliament and is therefore not associated with any group directly. They are, however, members of the EDP, a party with close relations with the Renew Europe group. Kinima Alilegi, the Solidarity Movement, is a national conservative party in Cyprus. This party is squarely on the right on matters of economy and traditional on social issues, while focusing on nationalist Greek values regarding the Cyprus issue and other issues. The party was created by then VC MEP Eleni Theocharous, who later joined the ECR group in the European Parliament. Solidarity won 5.24% of the votes and three seats in 2016. Former House Speaker Dimitri Siluris, from the now defunct European Party and known for his involvement in the Cyprus Papers scandal, was elected that year on the Solidarity ticket. Eleni Theocharous is a pediatric surgeon who has been active in humanitarian missions with Doctors of the World and is also a published poet. As a member of DC, she was first elected to the House of Representatives in 2001, serving until 2009 when she was elected as an MEP. She left DC in 2015 and failed to be re-elected to the European Parliament in 2019. Although the party has no representation in the European Parliament and no affiliation with any European political party, they were once members of the ECR group. Kinima Ecologon, Sinergasia Politon, the Movement for Ecologists' Citizens' Cooperation, is the main green political party active in the Greek Cypriot community. The Greens are in the center left of the political spectrum when it comes to the economy, focusing on promoting environmentally friendly development and building a sustainable economy. Among other measures, the party calls for a standardized minimum wage. 
The party's more progressive than the rest of Cyprus's centrist parties on social issues, strongly supporting LGBT and refugee rights. In the past, the parties also presented the chemtrail conspiracy theory as an issue that should be investigated by the government. On the Cyprus issue, the Greens have been somewhat skeptical towards a federal solution and can be seen as Greek Cypriot nationalists. The party was founded in 1996 and is today led by civil engineer and former government environment commissioner Charambalo Snopemptu, a position he held from 2006 until 2013. He's been an active proponent of the environmentalist cause since the 90s and was first elected to the House of Representatives in 2016. The Greens entered Parliament for the first time in 2001, winning 1.98% and one seat, and gained another seat in 2016. The Greens happen to be the only party whose leader is not guaranteed election if it enters Parliament. For the first time, the Greens have included candidates that openly support a federal solution to its list, without changing the party's official position. COSP has not been able to enter the European Parliament, but they are full-time members of the European Green Party. Ethnico Laico Metopo, the National Popular Front, is a far-right ultranationalist party which advocates for the entire island of Cyprus to rejoin Greece. Elam was created initially as a branch of Greece's neo-Nazi Golden Dawn party, but has quietly distanced itself once the trials in Greece began. On economic issues, Elam is squarely in the right wing, strongly promoting protectionism. However, it also adopts positions such as ending the 12% penalty on the pensions of people who choose to retire early. It also proposes ending social benefits for ethnically Turkish Cypriot citizens. On social issues, Elam is on the authoritarian end of the spectrum, opposing all migration and any support to foreigners living in the country. It has also opposed the legislation of abortion and the recognition of LGBT rights. On the Cyprus issue, the party takes a hard stance, promoting the closure and militarization of all border crossings between the two sides. It rejects federal reunification and advocates for a unitary state with no special community rights for Turkish Cypriots. Founded in 2008, Elam first ran in 2011, gaining only 1.1% of the vote. It finally entered Parliament in 2016 with 3.7% of the vote and two MPs. Like Golden Dawn, its members have often been accused of involvement in violent public incidents. The party is led by Christos Christou, a former radiologist who is reported to have worked closely with Golden Dawn leader Nikos Michaloliakos while living in Athens. He was elected to the House of Representatives in 2016 and finished fifth in the 2018 presidential election. This party has never gained representation in the European Parliament, despite getting pretty close during the 2019 election. It has no known affiliation with political groups in the European Parliament, but, as stated before, they were a sister party with Greece's Golden Dawn, which, until 2019, had its MEPs sitting with the non inscript group. Koma Yata Zoa Kipru, or the Animal Party of Cyprus, is a political party that focuses on animal welfare and environmental issues more broadly. This party sits on the left wing of Cypriot politics, on the economy, and advocates for green and sustainable policies with a focus on animal rights. The APC was founded in 2014 by Kiriakos Kiriakou. During the 2016 legislative elections, it received 1.16% of the vote and currently has no seats in the House of Representatives nor in the European Parliament. It is affiliated with the GUE and GL group in the European Parliament through its relations with other animal rights parties in Europe, who are also in the Animal Politics European Party. Alagi Genias, or Change of Generation, is a center-left political movement and one of the newest political parties in Cyprus. Now, it had to change its name from its original name, Anaxartiti, after electoral authorities ruled that the use of the term independence, which is the meaning of the name in English, would cause voters to confuse them with independent candidates running with no party affiliation. This movement focuses on the promotion of transparency, anti-corruption, and social justice, with many progressive proposals related to pensions and labor rights, among other issues. On the Cyprus issue in particular, it supports reunification under the UN's parameters. One of their main political positions is the promotion of horizontal voting, 
a proposal that would allow voters to select candidates from more than one party. Alagi Genias was founded by former Citizens Alliance MP Ana Theologu in 2019 in a protest over what she felt was censorship within that party. They were originally going to run as a joint ticket with the United Cyprus Hunters movement, but have since decided to part ways and run separately. Theologu leads the party. She was elected as a member of the Citizens Alliance in 2016, but left in 2019 in protest. This party has no known affiliations to any European political party or group. The Mokratiki Parataxi, the Democratic Front, is a centrist and liberal political party. Vipa takes centrist liberal positions and is in support of a federal solution to Cyprus, which differentiates itself from the Co. On the economy, it advocates for a boost in public investment and is broadly centrist on social issues. Vipa was founded by former Dico leader Mario Scaroyan, who left along with other members and three House members who later joined in 2020. Garoyan was a member of the House of Representatives from 2006 until losing his position in 2016. During that time, he became president of the House of Representatives. Despite not having won a European Parliament seat, it's a member of ALDE, meaning that, if elected, the party would sit with Renew Europe. Amojostos Yatin Kipro, or Famagusta for Cyprus in English, is a centrist political party focused on the federal reunification of Cyprus starting with the handing over of the ghost town of Arosha to the UN and reopening it. It also promotes progressive solutions on issues of the environment and social issues, as well as advocating for anti-corruption measures. The party was actually created this year, in 2021, as a response to the 2020 announcement by the Turkish government and the unrecognized Turkish Cypriot administration that it would move forward with the unilateral opening of Barosha, a district of the city of Famagusta that has been fenced off since 1974. Prominent members of the party have accused the government of being inactive on this issue, as well as on the larger Cyprus issue. The party leader is Christakis Nikita, a chartered accountant and a prominent member of the community of former Famagusta residents who were displaced in the 1974 war.